Yakuza 0 is a prequel to the very popular Ruga Gotoku series. The story is about the two main protagonists, Kiru and Majima, set back in 1988 Japan. It's about two Yakuza trying to get through the trouble that comes their way, and some silly stuff that's included in it. The story follows 20-year-old Kiru in his baby Yakuza days alongside his kyodai Nishiki, fighting their way through the tough Yakuza world. Kiru is being accused of a horrible crime that he didn't commit, and he ended up quitting the Dojima family. Throughout his story, you will be figuring out who framed him. Majima is the other protagonist, 24 years old at the time, so he has a few years of experience over Kiru, but he was kicked out of the Shimano family due to another event that took place a while before that with his kyodai, Saijima. Majima badly wants to get back into good graces with the family, and is even running a cabaret club to make them money to atone for his actions. Sagawa tells him he has to do a hit job to get back into the family. Where this leads, both Kiru and Majima will all come together and leave you with a refreshing new plot, and not for a second will you be bored by the main story. Some of the fondest memories I have of the sub-stories are in Yakuza 0. We have the dominatrix story where Kiru must help a wannabe dom be meaner to her customers because she's too nice. Another one of my favorites has got to be Be My Boyfriend. You have to pretend to be this girl's boyfriend to show off in front of her dad, so he'll leave her alone about finding a partner. And it just ends up in a super funny way. There are honestly too many sub-stories to go through, but trust me when I say all of them are unique and memorable. Okay, so here we have Mahjong. And we have the cabaret minigame, disco minigame, karaoke minigame, real estate minigame, pocket circuit. There's also pool, shogi, and the bed of sticks, but those are the games I play very few of, to be quite honest. I would say my most favorite minigame would be the Cabaret Club. I wish I could just take that and just make it into an entire game because it's so addicting and with the music that they put into it when you're dressing up the girls is amazing. I've been marathoning all the RGG games, except I haven't gotten to Ishin or Dead Souls. And since after all those games, Yakuza 0 still beats them all. Years ago, I tried playing Zero and I gave up on it. I regret that decision very much now because it's now my all time favorite game. If you're like me and get bored very easily, please just push through it because I promise it's worth it. It's made me laugh so much, and it's even made me cry. I will cherish the memories I have of this game, because games like these are a dime a dozen. There will be games you like, but they don't give you that one feeling still. That feeling of genuine, pure love and fun that sticks with you. A feeling you wish you could experience over and over again, and you can't stop thinking about. There is a reason this game is so overwhelmingly favored by so many and why it'll continue to be one of the most beloved games for years to come. <laughs> <laughs> 